Hi guys, it's me Tazar HD and welcome to the incident analysis for the 2019 Mexican Grand Prix. Now, really the theme of this video is how Max Verstappen's weekend really fell away from him and how he kind of cost himself but also was cost by other people the chance really to fight for his third consecutive race win in Mexico. Now, let's start off in qualifying where he did blow pole position. He had the best car, he had the best uh, speed really in qualifying and given that Valtteri Bottas had crashed, he didn't have to push in his final run in the final sector to get pole because Leclerc and Albon had already crossed the line I think before Bottas and had not improved and Vettel and Hamilton had not really improved or had backed off. So Max Verstappen had pole position but... He ignored yellow flags. As you can see right here, the yellow flag clearly waving and he kept his foot down. You can go back and watch the end of his lap in qualifying. He keeps his foot down, keeps going and at the time he got pole position and he was rightfully given a penalty for that. Not only because he disobeyed yellow flags but also because of his attitude and his comments towards safety i think because as you can clearly see at this point as he's coming up to the line he definitely does see valtteri bottas's crashed car there so he knows that there are yellow flags in that area but still carries on accelerating to the line and gets the 114.7 that he got at the time his attitude towards this, I'm sorry, is very poor. You have to obey yellow flags. You cannot just continue like nothing has happened because in situations like that, that's where, I'm not saying that would have happened in this situation, but in certain situations, if you do not obey yellow flags, that can get drivers injured, if not killed. So you cannot take an attitude of, well, I'm in control, I'm fine, I don't need to obey yellow flags in a very arrogant way. You cannot do that. You've got to respect the rules and that is exactly what Max Verstappen did not do. And that really is the first big step as to why Max Verstappen was unable to fight for race victory. Because if he got pole position, yes it would have been difficult with the Ferraris behind him getting his toe down to turn one at the start. But... Given the speed he had during the weekend, he was definitely going to be right in there for the fight. So, really, he threw a lot of it away by doing what he did in qualifying. But then he had, of course, the off at turn one. Not turn one, but turn two on the first lap with Lewis Hamilton. Now, to look at how that happened, we've got to start off with how Lewis Hamilton ended up in a position where he was side by side with Max Verstappen. Now at this point of the start, Lewis Hamilton has got a better start than Sebastian Vettel and is just about side by side. Now of course, as you guys will know if you watch the start of the race, Lewis Hamilton was pushed slightly off the track. Now yes it was a very scary moment I sh I'm sure for Lewis Hamilton and it was very I guess hard in terms of the racing but you have to remember that Lewis I think was just about in Sebastian Vettel's blind spot and Sebastian Vettel I, I don't think he knew exactly where Lewis's car was and also Sebastian was trying to get the slipstream of his teammate ahead Charles Leclerc so I think considering the circumstances I think we should give Sebastian Vettel the benefit of the doubt because on the run down to turn one every season at this track, it is always very tight in terms of cars, very close side by side, heading down that bottleneck towards turn one. So I think we should give Sebastian Vettel the benefit of the doubt. It was very close to being a big accident, but I think it was... Again, given the circumstances, it was just about okay. But because Lewis Hamilton then had to lift off because Vettel had kind of just about pushed him onto the grass, that is what put Max Verstappen in a position to be right side by side with Lewis Hamilton. Now, at this point, Max Verstappen has his car ahead, but Lewis is determined to get back ahead. 
and he does try to do it, but Max Verstappen is resilient and is trying his best to try and keep ahead by kind of, I guess you could say, squeeze Lewis Hamilton against the apex so Max can then go around the outside of turn two and make it the inside for turn three and then, of course, stay ahead going down to turn four in the first lap. But the reason they went off, it really does start at about this point where they just about make contact. It wasn't big contact, but it was enough, I think, to damage the floor of Lewis Hamilton slightly that did, according to Lewis Hamilton, affect his speed during the Grand Prix. So they did make a slight bit of contact, and that caused Max Verstappen to lose the rear end slightly and give a bit of space to Lewis Hamilton. But then because of that contact, as you can see here, Max kind of losing the rear end. Because of that contact, Lewis also loses the rear end a bit and then gets right back in front of Max Verstappen. Again, Lewis very desperate to keep ahead because he knows he has to if he's going to fight Leclerc and Vettel for the race victory, which of course he did get the race victory later on. But at this point, with Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, I don't really think could have done anything different here and i think that goes for lewis hamilton as well because i think the small contact between the two you know midway through turn one and turn two is really what caused them to go off track and to go so deep into turn two because both of them got a bit of oversteer going into turn two and that put them quite wide going into turn two and then into turn three now you can see here max verstappen is Starting to turn left into the left hander, and Hamilton is trying to as well. But Hamilton simply has carried slightly too much speed into the corner. And around about at this point, they do make contact. Lewis Hamilton's right rear, Max Verstappen's left front make contact. And at that point, really, Lewis Hamilton is guaranteed to go off like he does. Max Verstappen, though, as you see on his steering wheel, is full lock trying to stay on track, but he just cannot stop himself from going off the track because there is not enough room to stay on the track. And then, of course, he goes onto the grass like Lewis Hamilton, and they end up having, overall, a poor start to the Grand Prix. I don't really think anyone is absolutely at fault here. I think both drivers definitely could have done maybe slightly more to avoid you know, both cars going off the track. But for me, it's really a racing incident because I don't think, considering, again, the circumstances of how turn one, two, and three is, and considering how close they were and the slight contact that was made, there wasn't a massive amount that they could have done differently from what they did. So for me, a racing incident, and I don't think anyone really should have got a penalty from this and I don't think anyone was massively at fault for what happened into the first couple corners but then after that for Max Verstappen he dropped back to P8 but then was very determined to make his way through the field and went for a move on Valtteri Bottas at turn 13 now the move itself was fine because he had enough space to do so you know, dive down the inside and it wasn't like it was an impossible overtake. He went down the inside. Great move. But of course, as he went down the inside, Valtteri was trying to hold it around the outside. But then he realized that Max was going to get the move done. And Valtteri, I think, was definitely not trying to cut Max's tyre. But because, of course, it's a left-hander and Valtteri has to turn in eventually. That is why about here, or just before that... Valtteri makes contact with his left front uh, you know, corner of his front wing to Max's right rear tyre. And that is why the tyre was cut. But in my opinion, even though Max Verstappen's move was fair, from a racing intelligence point of view, was it really the smart thing to do for Max Verstappen to make a move there when the very long DRS straight, pit straight is... You know right after this part of the track because 
Even if they didn't make contact and Max Verstappen did not get a puncture, Valtteri would have passed him anyway because the Mercedes power is a lot stronger than the Honda power and Valtteri had a very good slipstream going down to turn one. So again, from a racing intelligence point of view, was it really worth going for a move there when Valtteri was just going to get pa uh, back past anyway? Maybe it'd be worth it if he was passing a midfield car, but against... The works Mercedes, I just don't think it was that smart of a move. And I wouldn't say he deserved the puncture, but it wasn't the smartest overtake I've seen from Max Verstappen. And he definitely could have planned his overtake better. I know some people out there will be saying now, you know, oh, it's easy to say this in hindsight. But I think actually, live, in the moment, surely Max Verstappen would have been planning where to pass Valtteri Bottas and I just don't believe that that part of the track was the best place to do so I just don't think it was and of course after that he got a puncture and was basically out of the running with the top cars ended up finishing P6 did a very long stint to the hard tyres but this weekend could have been a lot more for Max Verstappen but guys let me know right now in the comment section what could Max Verstappen have done differently this uh, past weekend in Mexico? Could he have done more in qualifying and in the race to be able to go on to fight for race victory? Who was at fault in the certain incidents he was involved in? And what did you think overall of Max Verstappen's driving? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more content like this. Tomorrow, the podcast is coming out at 12 p.m. UK time where we will analyze more incidents from the race and analyze the talking points also from the 2019 Mexican Grand Prix. But guys, until that podcast coming out this time tomorrow, it has been me, Jazzer HD. Goodbye.